But speaking of talent, our celebrity guests were talented bunch of musicians. They were so good way back in the 60s that they even made into the Phillips International chart. That's right, Douglas. And you know, tonight's program is going to be a real historical, mm. call it sentimental, call it whatever you want, because if you're just asking, wondering why, it's because, you know, we haven't seen these group of... For a long uh, time. Yeah, performing for a long time. And we're talking about none of the, you know, the crescendos. Well, unfortunately, Susan Lim won't be with us. She met with a tragic end. But we do have the three guys with us. So, ladies and gentlemen, can we please welcome Raymond Ho, John Chi, and Leslie Cha. None other than the Crescendos. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hi, Leslie. Welcome down. John. Hi, Douglas. Nice to have you guys. Wonderful. Please. Joto. 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 Yeah. Domo arigato. Oh, you know, it's so nice to see you guys in person. You know, as when I was growing up as a little boy, I remember listening to these fantastic songs you guys recorded. Mr. Twister and my personal favorite, Frankie. What have you been doing these days? I think the first thing the audience will ask is, who is that both I hate guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in those days, uh, well, it was many hairs ago. In those days, I had a <clears throat> nice crop of hair. And, well, I've got my contacts on now. But you still look good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Buying dinner tonight. I am. Anywhere yeah. you want. You too, huh? Thank you very much. Um, I'm a freight forwarder. I always have been. Mm. And John is... I'm doing a little bit of trading. Yeah. And myself, I'm in the interior business line. No, interior. Mm. So, but tell us how the crescendos, uh, you know, started out. You know, as a group. How did you start? Out? He's the leader. Okay, right, John. Okay. You, you explain. We were all schoolmates, mm -hmm. and of course, it was the end of was the end of the year where we had a long holiday break, and uh, so happened the uh, radio talent time was coming on. That's right. Yeah. And uh, we felt that perhaps uh, we should try it just to see what it's like to go on stage and go under the bright lights, and. Uh, we took it from there. Did it ever cross your mind that you, that you work for that? Did you have a mm -hmm. formula that you're working and say, we must make it to the top? Was there, you know, any... No, no, no. We, we never had a plan that we would... We, we, all we wanted to do was... Have fun. Um, not actually have... No mm. pocket money, no oh. Nintendo. You know, there was no Nintendo, no video <laughs> yeah. game, no yeah, pocket yeah. money. We had only one little guitar and, and mm. no karaoke eh, those days. So um, we, we got together and uh, that we made our own karaoke song out. And then came the Radio Singapore Talent Time in 1961. So we say, okay, Bole Jadi, let's go in. Lah. So that's we went in, and uh, that's how uh, we started. It just took off from there. Yeah. Okay, well, how did Susan fit into all this? Um, how did this go about? Okay, when, when we were singing for about uh, a year, a year and a half together, we found that we were getting stale because we were singing just a typical uh, type of songs. So we wanted to have a change. We wanted to have a different image altogether. And that's where Susan came into the picture. Susan died in a very tragic way. And, you know, John, you were close to her. I mean, how did you and then later on the rest of the band react to this? I mean, to the bad news? Well, I, I was personally uh, very shocked and I was very sad because uh, during our time together, whenever we had to go out on a performance, Susan's mother will always tell me before we go, Johnny, you take care of Susan. And that's Susan's mother over there. Hi, I'm Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show.